Second Life is an immersive learning environment. An interactive teaching technology. A safe place for patients and individuals to meet, learn, and share. An online conferencing tool for virtual meetings. Emergency responders are using Second Life to simulate disaster scenarios. The Idaho Bioterrorism Awareness and Preparedness Program has built a virtual town complete with hospital, emergency vehicles, uniforms, innocent bystanders, and explosives to conduct virtual tabletop exercises to train workers in emergency response. Virtual hospitals are being created in Second Life to help rethink traditional models of healthcare. Imperial College London has built a virtual hospital to model new systems of providing care. Second Life provides an interactive, fun, and anonymous environment for health education. The sexual health simulation offers games, such as a contraception quiz and links to simulations such as a virtual tour of the testes. The nutrition game, created by Ohio University, emphasizes the health impact of eating at fast food restaurants. Players visit a restaurant, make selections from a menu, and then receive nutritional information about their choices. Second Life has an active community of people with both mental and physical disabilities with social opportunities and the ability to go beyond one's real life limitations, Second Life provides a space for support and social networking. Health Info Island promotes health information literacy, provides research support, and offers space for support groups to meet. Informational displays, movies, and reading materials provide information to visitors. Second Life can be used as a web conferencing tool which provides a more realistic simulation of an in-person meeting than traditional conferencing software. Colleagues can gather in a virtual meeting space, view presentations, and discuss issues. Larger, more formal presentations can also be hosted in Second Life. The number of virtual conferences is growing and guest speakers can reach an international audience. Government agencies are exploring using Second Life to provide information to the public. The CDC has recently created CDC Island, which includes both meeting space and informational resources. Universities are heavily involved with Second Life, exploring its use as a teaching tool, a recruitment aid, and as an informational hub. At the University of Michigan, the medical school has created a space called Wolverine Island, which is being used for virtual patient simulations. Health Sciences Libraries have a library in Wolverine Island, and they host weekly speakers and discussions at a nearby campfire. Second Life is a virtual world with an active public health community, and this is just the beginning. <laughs>